Before we get into the actual video, I want to just remind you guys for this all to work, you have to have NDI installed. So just look up NDI.video or just look up NDI directly online and download the NDI tool and it will make everything NDI related work. Hello everyone, I'm just going to explain quickly how to use OBS with NDI for simple and quick streaming setup. So first you're going to want to open up your browser of choice and then look up OBS NDI should be the first link that shows up right here the distro AV and you go to the downloads scroll down to the bottom right here and whatever your computer you're using Linux Windows or Mac I'm using a Windows so I'm going to click go ahead and install this once you've installed it go ahead and download it and so once you have installed it you can go ahead and just close your browser and open up an instance of OBS Studio. So now that you have installed the NDI tool, you can do two things. You can either output your OBS preview and program screen to another computer, or you could receive it from uh, other uh, OBS outputs such as cameras or other computers into here. So first I'm gonna go over outputting. You wanna go up here and click on your tools and you'll now see a distro AV NDI setting right here. And you wanna click allow on both your main and preview so you can name it whatever I'm gonna name this one OBS main and this one can stay as preview and press OK so to test to see if these two work I'm just gonna quickly open up my NDI tool and I'm gonna open a studio monitor and now as you can see both the OBS main and OBS preview show up as NDI sources that are available for anyone that is on the same network as me. All right, now that we know how to output, how do you receive input? So I'm also gonna use the NDI tool once again here to test that. And there's a wonderful tool here called the test patterns. So if you click on this test pattern, you can be able to create a test pattern that will just go onto your NDI network, NDI source to be able to test if like uh, another source is able to receive NDI source and if it's on the same network it's just great for testing so I'm just gonna have this open and I'm actually gonna go here and go ahead and make a new scene called NDI and now you can create a new source and after you have installed the NDI uh, distro AV you should be able to see that there is now an NDI source one available right here I'm just gonna name it NDI test and it'll ask you for a source name or whatever source you want. All my sources should show up here and here's my test pattern. And as you can see, my test pattern is displayed and showing this works. And it works just like anything else. You can create a bunch of different scenes for each of your different cameras or different computers. And uh, yeah, it would just make NDI very, very simple to use. I personally prefer to use NDI with OBS because it is very simple to set up, very simple to use, and just, you know, super manageable, and it's free, of course. All right, thank you guys for watching.